studying computer engineering now at Hashemite University in Jordan in my fourth year. Yeah, and I got a scholarship recently at Stanford University. I'm studying here for one semester. I hope I can complete my study here also. <laughs> yeah. So tell us, how did you first get interested in engineering? Uh, when I was at school, when I was, let, let's say, 10 years, I went with my father to a competition. It's called the First Legal League Robotics, where the students program robots and make things that they can work and say and talk something. So I got amazed. Wow, I want to be like them. They are smart and they want to be like them. So I spent like two years of my life spending money just to participate in this competition in last and the next year. I was really like, I want to do something. I want to make a change. I want to. I'm studying in a governmental school. It's it's a local. Like we we don't have a lot of money, so that uh, that's why I believe that I can do. I can do it even if I don't have money. Even if my family don't uh, like my father is not an engineer and my mother is not a, a doctor. So I. I can do it myself and I can be smart to look such like others. And are you an IEEE Women in Engineering member and why? Yes, I'm an IEEE member and I'm the chair for my for my section and for my university. Why? Because I believe that uh, uh, we as women, we 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 can we can do something special. Like we are not like men. We have our own spices and the favors, so we can make things and a very uh, beautiful thing. Like like and we in the uh, engineering and medicine, maybe we don't have enough uh, women. It's always the major for men. So one of my goals in life to show the world that no, even women can be smart and can do things. And in my in the Middle East, that we have problems with women, that uh, the old rights of the old, um, let's say, the family, uh, the father and ma the mother, they always care just uh, and then the in the in the boys. So I, I just I convinced I convinced my father no I'm a girl and I have a right to be something in the future and even though I'm here today I I, I spent like three years just um, convincing my father like I can do it I can go and travel abroad I can be something and then my first time out Jordan he came with me I got a scholarship at at Microsoft Munich and he said you will not go I said no I, I have to go he said no I you. you you have to I have to go with you I said but they, they, they only find me and then I told Microsoft and they told them that my father is not allowing me to go there and they said okay we're gonna find you and your father so I bring my father to Europe so I think that we have we only have to believe in ourselves and try to make a difference in this world